So I'm just sitting here playing my PS4 LS Power. I got back on and it keeps kicking me out. What the heck? Nathan Cox, thanks for joining us around the home. Okay, that's not 100% true. But before you guys freak out, this is not clickbait, okay? The reason I'm saying it's not true is it did happen to me a couple years ago. Actually, over three years ago when I made my first video. I'm making an updated video to help you guys out because the error still exists, okay? And I've helped tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people fix it. And it's still, still out there. So I love PlayStation. I love the PS4. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to love the PS5 when I eventually get it. Um, but this is crazy. And I can't believe they haven't made a proper fix for this error especially with the pandemic um, and this crazy cold front went through the Midwest, rolling blackouts. I mean, just, just you, you, you need your gaming, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're talking about error code MP-36006-5, all right? It's a terrible little thing. And if you lost power, whether it was a power out, whether it was your brother and sister accidentally pulled the cord, whether your parents got mad at you and yanked it, now you're trying to get back on, and as soon as you log in the game, it kicks you right back out, boom, out. And it says, you know, you know, there's an error, and gives you that code. Now, if you look at that error code with PlayStation, with Sony, and it's gonna tell you that you're already logged in, and to fix this problem, you need to do a factory reset. Yeah, factory reset means wipe everything out. All the games you've downloaded, all, all your save, I mean, just wipe the whole system out like it's coming out new out of the box. Um, it's so not necessary, it's so not necessary. So, okay, let me explain the problem really quick. What happened is, is when you were playing your game and you lost power, okay, you were logged on the PlayStation Network. Well, your system obviously shut out of the PlayStation Network, but because it did it in a way it didn't properly log out, the PlayStation Network thinks you're still logged in. That's where the whole problem happens, okay? It, it, the two are out of sync, all right? So when you turn your system back on, it's obviously not logged in, but the PlayStation Network thinks you are, all right? So let me show you guys an easy and insane way to fix this. Okay, now first, was trying to understand the problem, and I got on, and my profile worked, but it's my son's who didn't. So it doesn't affect every profile in the system, just the one that was logged in when the power out happened, okay? And I got into a game, it was a multiplayer game, and when I logged in, I realized that I could invite him in, but he wasn't logged in. So that got me thinking. I spent hours looking through blogs and threads and stuff like that, reading. Uh, there was no direct answers for this problem, but putting together some you know, information that I found with some problems with some other games and a, and a lucky guess, I fixed it. So let me show you how to do it, all right? So obviously PlayStation started up, go up to your trophy menu, okay? Bring that up. And what we're looking for, very interesting enough, is a trophy line that's a 0% trophy line. All right, let me explain why. If I pick up a game that has an, uh, some kind of trophies right here, Star Wars Squadrons, you hit the options button, and you got privacy settings sync with PlayStation Network. I'll get back to that in a minute. And information, okay? Now if I go to a, a trophy line that, that is a 0% trophy line, hit options button. Now it adds a delete option, okay? That's the key right there. If you go to the delete, select it, delete it. Once it's deleted, which just takes a second to do, it'll tell you sync in with PlayStation Network. And that's it, you're fixed, okay? crazy and no it doesn't delete your game and no it doesn't um it doesn't delete your save game either now if you want to back up your save game throw a flash drive in and back them up first if you just want to be extra careful but it doesn't delete any of that stuff um now i have had someone say at one of the call of duties um that it caused it to want to re-download the update for whatever reason after they did it don't know why but it did okay but it still didn't destroy their system and everything else was still there now uh, I've been told, I haven't tested this one out, but I'm told by plenty of people, oops, you hit the options button here, that this also works just as well. The whole thing is we're trying to force a sync so that your system and the PlayStation Network are working together again and not one thinks you're on, one thinks you're off. That's the problem, okay? All right, now, if you try that right here, the sync with PlayStation Network, and that doesn't work, which like I said, you can try that first, obviously, that's not deleting anything. Um, that doesn't work, which a lot of people say that it hasn't worked, but more people have said that it does. So that's a, probably at least a 60% uh, working. Then you delete this trophy line, which seems to work like 95% of the time, okay? Now that still doesn't work, you're almost in trouble. But I did have a viewer tell me that they could start a game 
and they went into the settings and uh, forgive me i don't know where exactly which setting it is i don't play the playstation that often to know where all the settings are um but if you could switch to offline mode and then play the game you know you know get an achievement or something make something happen in offline mode and then exit the game and restart it uh then switch switch back to online mode when you do that it's going to force the update uh the resync between the playstation network and, and your system to to do that you know to update the settings or the stats okay so that's another uh i know someone told me that worked in fifa and a few other games that that was a last ditch effort um, also if none of those things are working for you for whatever reason maybe you have another error code in your system which is affecting it that does happen if you have a second error code you're you're gonna maybe be completely screwed you might have to do the factory set but but uh you could go in and delete your profile okay delete your profile off the system and then re-download it from the PlayStation Network. That's kind of like a, okay, hopefully you don't have to go that far, but that'll work too. And if you go to that far, I definitely would be backing up your save games just in case, okay? Um, and then, then you're down to factory reset after all those things, if none of those things work. And like I said before, I've helped tens if not hundreds of thousands of people. This works 95% of the time. Um, very few times does it not work. But it's a, it's a nasty error that I, you know, anyways, I found a fix for it. So I, hopefully you can just go back to playing games with your dog sitting around you and, uh, and make the most of being, you know, social distancing, being locked down, rolling blackouts. Well, working around the rolling blackouts, obviously, because you can't play in a blackout. But you, get, you know what I'm saying. Make the most of your time. Get your gaming. You get your game on. All right? I want everyone to get their game on. So please share this video. Please subscribe to my channel. You guys have a great one.